Next, NASA says its Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable information to Earth again. In 1977, two Golden spacecraft were launched into the great unknown, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Their mission? To explore the outer planets of our solar system. But Voyager 1 did something no one imagined. It never stopped. Now, nearly 50 years later, it has just made a discovery that scientists are calling impossible. In the final months of the 1970s, while disco ruled the dance floors and the Cold War shaped the headlines, something incredible left Earth's gravity forever. Voyager 1, powered by plutonium, carrying with it the golden record, humanity's message to the stars, began a journey no spacecraft had ever dared to take. While its twin, Voyager 2, took a scenic route visiting Uranus and Neptune, Voyager 1 sped ahead. In 1979, it beamed back never-before-seen images of Jupiter's raging storms and volcanic moons. Then, in 1980, it sent back breathtaking views of Saturn's rings. But by 1981, Voyager 1 had completed its planetary tour. Most people assumed its story would end there. But the engineers at NASA had other plans. Voyager 1's instruments were left on. Its antenna, 23-watt radio, and aging computers continued sending faint signals back to Earth. Over the decades, it kept traveling, first past the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends, and then into interstellar space. In 2012, Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to leave the solar system. But space, as we know, is not empty, and Voyager 1 just proved that again. In mid-2025, as it drifted nearly 15 billion miles from Earth, Voyager's magnetometer picked up something strange, a fluctuation in the interstellar magnetic field that defied all known physics. At first, the data was dismissed as a glitch. After all, Voyager's instruments are nearly 50 years old. But then, the signal repeated. And this time, the signal came with an anomaly an unexpected burst of low-frequency plasma waves. These waves weren't random. They had structure. They pulsed like a heartbeat. Scientists at NASA's Deep Space Network headquarters in Goldstone and Madrid reviewed the data over and over. What we saw was not just noise. It was rhythmic, sustained, and it behaved in a way we've never observed before, not from any natural source. Suddenly, the impossible became undeniable. Voyager 1 had stumbled upon something or someone in the endless dark of space. By 2025, Voyager 1 was in a region of space where no spacecraft had gone before. This region is known as the Very Local Interstellar Medium, a place filled with charged particles, magnetic fields, and unknowns. But even here, Voyager had always moved through silence, until now. When the anomaly first appeared, the signal was faint, like a whisper in the cosmic wind. But as the spacecraft continued forward, the signal grew clearer. Voyager's plasma wave instrument detected increasing intensity. It wasn't just fluctuation, it had form, a wave packet with consistent intervals. It was as if something, or someone, was trying to speak. Back on Earth, NASA scientists scrambled. They reactivated algorithms originally designed for the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI, and applied them to the incoming data. What they found was jaw-dropping. The signal showed patterns consistent with a prime number sequence. That's not something nature typically does. Prime numbers are a mathematical construct, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on, and they were appearing in the magnetic pulses Voyager was receiving. The frequency of the pulses matched no known cosmic event, not pulsars, not black holes, not quasars, even solar events were ruled out. 
There were deliberate intervals, intentional delays, and even binary pauses. To some experts, it looked eerily like the kind of signal humanity itself had sent out via Arecibo in the 1970s. Could it be that Voyager 1 was receiving a reply? Some scientists warned against jumping to conclusions. Perhaps a naturally occurring plasma cloud had unusual properties. Perhaps Voyager's failing systems were distorting what it received. But the pattern continued for 72 hours straight. Then it stopped. Exactly three days. No more, no less. And after 72 hours, came silence. NASA remained tight-lipped for weeks, but in a leak that shook the astrophysics community, an internal memo was published that read, The rhythmic pulses detected by Voyager 1 from 15.1 billion miles may not be naturally occurring. Further investigation required. Treat as classified for now. The world was stunned, and just as the excitement peaked, Voyager 1 transmitted something else. It wasn't a signal. It was a picture. On July 17, 2025, at exactly 0246 UTC, a compressed data stream arrived from Voyager 1, one that was different from its usual telemetry. At first, the file was unreadable. It had a new structure, a new encoding. Engineers worked nonstop running it through Voyager's original onboard coding protocols, checking parity bits, hex headers, and CRC checks. And when the image finally rendered, it wasn't of a planet. It wasn't a star. It was a symbol. It wasn't in any known human language, yet it bore a symmetrical elegance, like it was meant to be understood, or at least deciphered. Linguists, code breakers, and AI systems were thrown at it, Strangely, the pattern bore resemblance to symbols found in early human civilizations, Sumerian, Egyptian, even Mayan. Some theorized it was a universal mathematical code, a cipher bridging the gap between civilizations separated by light years. NASA released a statement simply saying, Voyager 1 has returned an anomalous image signal, investigation ongoing. But insiders leaked more. They revealed that the symbol had coordinates embedded within it, galactic coordinates pointing to a region 142 light years away, a location with no known stars, no known planets, just dark interstellar space. So why those coordinates? Speculation ran wild. Had Voyager stumbled into a cosmic relay? Was it being watched, monitored, even welcomed? Some believed the coordinates could point to a cloaked or artificial object, one beyond current human detection. Others said the message was an invitation or a warming. And then a final twist. Someone compared the symbol Voyager received to one of the etchings on the golden record, the pulsar map Carl Sagan's team had created in 1977, showing Earth's location to any finders. The result? The geometry was almost identical, as if someone had received the golden record and was now sending back their own. After 50 years in the silent dark, Voyager 1 has spoken to the stars, and the stars may have spoken back. Today, Voyager 1 continues its impossible journey, now over 15.2 billion miles from Earth traveling through interstellar space at 38,000 miles per hour. Its signal takes over 22 hours to reach us, and every day, scientists wake up wondering, will today be the day it speaks again? Will Voyager reveal something that changes how we see the universe and our place within it? Or has it already? Voyager 1 is still out there, listening, watching, and maybe being watched. If this blew your mind, hit that like button, subscribe for more space mysteries, and let us know in the comments, do you believe Voyager 1 just made contact, or was it something else entirely? Until next time, keep looking up, because the universe is watching back.